Hi, this is Jennifer Donna with Opali.com, and today I'm going to be going over how you add a uh, Facebook badge from your Facebook business page onto your Site Builder website. So here I'm logged into Opali's control panel. We use Plesk, it's awesome, absolutely love it. This is the newest Plesk version. Um, so some of you still might be on the older version of Plesk. It's a little similar, but right now, so I'm on my control panel, I'm just going to scroll down and launch Site Builder. And Site Builder is also going to look a little different to a lot of people. Um, here I have two domains on my control panel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose kellyjamesonco.com and click Edit in Site Builder. This pops up Site Builder. Yes, it's different from the older version. It's much better, but um, a lot of these things look the same as the older version or have the same functionality. So here in Modules is what you're going to want to choose. Click that. And then we're going to just drag and drop the script module, which is similar to the older version. So hold down the mouse and then just drag that down over to your sidebar or wherever it is that you're putting it in your website, in the content, um, etc. So here we're just going to go ahead and paste the code that we're going to get over at Facebook into this box. So let's pop over to the Ovali Cloud Services page and I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Page over here on the top right. This is going to pull us over into the back end of our Facebook page and from here I'm going to go ahead and click on Marketing. So um, you have a few options. You can get a badge, add a like box to your website. We're going to go ahead and add a like box to our website. So from here the default is to Facebook.com's um, page. So we're going to go ahead and put in ours or Ovali Cloud is ours. So whatever yours is, you'd put in there. You'd then define the width. And I can't remember what I set my sidebar to, but we'll go ahead and make it really small just in case. So I'll say 80 is my width. If you have it in um, something much larger, definitely um, change that to be, so if you have it in your content, for example, make sure it, that um, matches it. And you know what, this looks awful, so let's go ahead and make it 120 and see if that looks any better. Um, we'll take off show faces, take off show stream, um, show header. Um, let's go ahead and just click that just in case, and let's try and make this a little bit bigger. Width. Oh, there we go. Mm, see, even better. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Get Code. So obviously there's a lot of stuff you can play with in that. Um, you can also change it to a darker scheme. So if the background of your website is dark, you can change it to be that. But for right now, let's keep it light. Click Get Code. So now under the iframe piece, you're just going to copy all of that. And so that's either Control-C, Command-C, oops. Um, Control-C, Command-C, right-click on it and copy whatever you do. Copy that. Let's click OK. And pop back over to our Site Builder and just... Control V, um, Command V, right click whatever it is that you're going to do and click OK. So right here it says script block is inactive. It will not be shown to website visitors until activation. So in, until we click publish, you won't be able to see it. So your, ch your changes were saved. So for right now, let's go ahead and click publish and see what this looks like. on Kelly James and Co. Pop over there. And ta-da! There it is. So if I were to log out of Facebook, let's see what that would look like. So here I've logged out of Facebook and you're able to see what it will look like for non-likers or non-fans of your business page. You can see down here it has the like button as well as the number of likers on there so someone could then just click that button to like your page. So this has been Jennifer Donna with Ovali.com walking you through how to add a like badge onto your site builder website.